So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an app called Pocket. First, we need to install it. So I'm going to go to the App Store, and we're going to search for just Pocket, P-O-C-K-E-T. I'm sure you know how to spell that. So right here it is. I've installed it on my tablet already, but I'm going to install it here on my phone. And it'll take just a moment, depending on our internet speed. You can see that it's spinning around there. So it'll take just a few more moments. What uh, Pocket does is it allows you to save different uh, like videos or uh, text documents and things like that. In my case, I'll probably use it more for text documents because it's just sometimes it's uh, you're traveling along, you, there's some articles you want to hear, but I mean read, you just don't have time to read it. Um, so being able to just listen as you're doing something else is pretty helpful. So we're going to oh, go ahead and open it. And I already have an account, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Um, hmm, good question. Did I log in with Google? We'll find out here. Continue. It's going to ask me which account. Let's try this one here. So skip, skip. And it's just telling you about the different options that you have. Get started. So, um, Pocket would like to send you notifications. I'm going to say don't allow because I have enough distractions as it is. So, say that you want to, you're looking at different blogs and things like this. I tested it obviously on my iPad with uh, one of my own blog posts, but this is kind of cool. So, we're going to go ahead and open up um, a browser. I'm using the Brave browser here. And I was looking at some other things here. So, let me go ahead and close this. And we're going to open up, uh, I'm just going to go to my blog here. A shameless plug here for my own blog. But uh, so we're going to my site here. We'll scroll down to the blog section, or you can go to the blog from the navigation. But you can see. Um, so let's go ahead and click on this one. Click here to read. So we have an option that we want to say like, okay, this is a blog post. I'd like to read this later or save it for later. Uh, maybe even have it read later. So what we'll do is you notice down here at the bottom, uh, at the very bottom in the center, there is a little box with an arrow pointing up. We can click that and we can scroll to one of these should have a more and you should see an option here that says pocket right here at the bottom and it's not turned on currently so we're going to enable it and we can use the what's called the hamburger menu it's got the three menu options we're going to scroll it up here towards the top just so it's uh, somewhere close that we can get to it so once we've done that you'll see that it's actually in the location that we saved it so I'm going to go to pocket and it's saving it to my pocket app so you can see that it's already there it's saved so let's go ahead and go to our pocket app application and you can see that it's it's there now sometimes it takes um, a few moments for it to be readable um, via audio so if if I have this whole list here you can see that I have uh, four items in my screen here uh, listed so I could click on the audio and it would just read them all in order or I can actually go to the the post that I want to read next and I can click uh, once I'm at the bottom I can click the icon and it'll start reading it now it's probably not going to because I'm using the microphone right now but you can see that it's it's reading the the uh, message on the other screen um, you can see that the thing is playing the, the what's called the scrub bar is playing so you could actually listen to it um, all the way through you could fast forward you can actually change how fast you listen to it um, so you can actually click this and go that you want to hear it uh, maybe at time at two and uh, one and a half times the speed and it'll play at that or you can go back of course to uh, the one just by hitting the minus here reading at one speed uh, so that that comes in pretty handy if you're you know if you have a reading list or a blog list that uh, you want to get through so again we can listen to all of them it'll go through this one and it'll just go through the whole list um, as you can see here it's got the oops it's got the next one here queued up so it'll read in um, that order so you can see what's going on 
So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Again, that's Pocket. It's a free app, um, and I think you'll like it.